at that point, I couldn't even deal with it anymore. So I'm just like, okay, what do you want from me? Beg me. Oh, great heavens! Okay, so we're gonna just dive right in on this one. So you already know my GameStop manager, Minika. The loud, mean, take no crap from anyone manager who secretly had a heart of gold. Yeah, she had a lot going on. Anyway, around this time, she always asked me to work the same shift as her. Even if it was supposed to be my day off. Like, bro, why? Like, the last thing I wanted to have to do was come into that damn GameStop when it's supposed to be my day off. Just to have to cover someone else's ship because they give her an ick vibe. Girl, I'm about to ick you upside your damn head. Apparently, out of the other five employees, I was the one who annoyed her the least. Which is cool and all for her, but sometimes I just want to enjoy a day off. Like, bro, I was literally yearning for freedom. Like, I want to be able to go outside and actually say hi to living people. <laughs> So one day I'm chilling on my lunch break and I get a message from my boy who says there's actually going to be a Stranger Things theme party going on downtown. This is back when the show was still popping, popping. I said what I said. And is company giving free, free, three, three, fuck. And is company giving three free tickets. Bro, I don't care. I'm leaving that in. And I was 100% down to go. Only thing was my manager once again scheduled me to be with her on that Friday night. And I'm going to keep it a buck with y'all. I did not want to go to that shift at all. Like, I already covered for five people that month alone, so I was already going to say no from the jump. So it's winding down towards the end of the day, and that meant it was time for the moment of truth. Binika and Old Man Jameson, the owner of the store, were going over the schedule. And tell me why I see Binika looking over that schedule over and over, like she triple-checked that thing. Yeah, girl, that's right. Look all you want. I already knew I had nothing to worry about. Why? Because I already went over her head and went straight to Jameson. Showed him proof of how I was coming for people and demanded that I got a day off, which was game set. BAM! In your face, I win, heart of the cards, L plus Rachel, plus you fell off, plus Junior Crispy Chicken W. My strategy had no flaws. I could smell the kids from Stranger Things now. I mean, oh, bro, you know what I mean, I was able to skip work. But, while I was still in the midst of my victory posing, Len! Sorry to interrupt your awkward anime protagonist posing, but... Binika came up with a marvelous idea. I'm not even lying, that's how he sounded, and the voice makes me happy, so I'm keeping it like that. This lovely lady says she'll take all the scheduling dilemmas off my hands and do it for me. Wh what? And since you two are such a dream team, I already know you'll be there to help her every step of the way. What? Mm, cool effect. Well, I'm off to go smell mayonnaise now till tomorrow. Bye. <laughs> but, but, but my plan, my strategy, of sick twisted it takes a special kind of person to be this damn evil she knew i had plans yet she still tried to schedule me to work so i said no nah, we're settling this right now so i marched my way up to her and i'm like yo beans don't call me that you already knew i had that friday off what's going on easy i saw that fitz was supposed to be scheduled and i didn't want to work with him she said that shit as naturally as she breathed i'm not even lying to you but the, but but you already knew i had plans yeah and what are you saying, Len? You don't want to work on the same shift as me? Yes! I want to go down and actually live! It's not even a full day shift. What are you getting so bent out about? Seriously? I covered more shifts than anyone. I swear I see you than I see my own ass. <laughs> At that point, I couldn't even deal with it anymore. So I just said, okay, what do you want from me? Beg me. Oh, oh, there is bro, no oh. way in hell I'm begging Binika to get a day off that's rightfully mine. At this point, I said, fuck it. I'll get a job at the damn Quiznos next door rather than put up with this. Listen to me. I'm taking that damn day off, and if I feel like it, I'm taking the next day off as well. And you know why? Because I earned it through blood, sweat, and torment. And when you earn something, you're damn entitled to have it! Okay, so like 80% of that I didn't do, but I did get mad and say that I'm not coming on Friday. Like, get the actual person who's scheduled to show up. And I know you would have done the same damn thing, don't even cap. And finally, after all my scheming, planning, heartbreak, and demanding... Yo, what up, Friendster? It's Slinster. Guys, thanks for checking out the video. Do me a huge favor, like, subscribe, and let me know if you want to see more stories. I'm truly trying to get a lot of feedback here. And of course, guys, take care of yourselves. Have yourselves a damn good one, and I will talk to y'all soon. Alright, okay, bye!